Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session the uh, 10th of October 2018, uh, Wednesday. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically the theme remains with regards to uh, Italy, concerns ongoing with regards to its budget deficit, etc. Obviously, at loggerheads with the EU. Um, Certainly doesn't look good at present. Now you've got the uh, euro stock sliding back down to 3300 again, certainly exerting that pressure. The positive news is overnight, the uh, Asian markets certainly have stopped their slide. China is actually higher, Hang Seng higher, Nikkei higher as well. Uh, US equities certainly uh, pushing towards the highs, certainly bouncing and stabilizing as well. So, uh, And there are bullish patterns forming there. If you look at the S&P, you can see an inverted head and shoulders formation on the 60 minute chart. Okay. In terms of economic data then today, uh, we've had uh, industrial orders uh, certainly coming in stronger than expected from uh, Italy, so that certainly is bullish, so bear that in mind. Okay, uh, again, positive data from uh, France as well, industrial output numbers certainly stronger. UK data is out in the next 10 minutes, so let's see how that uh, fares. Trade balance, good trades. GDP numbers as well, watch out there. And for Mr. Haldane as well. So a lot of volatility expected in the FTSE 100 very, very shortly. Uh, in terms of the technical picture then, let's see exactly what's going on, especially given the fact that Italy obviously is sliding. I'll bring up the chart of Italy. You can see we've got some stabilization here now on the daily chart. Uh, the weekly chart really doesn't have support until we get to gap fill, but one would argue that we've certainly bottomed out here to a large extent, and the sell-off certainly has been uh, certainly factored in or baked into the market. Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, let's have a look here now. A massive, massive bottoming tail yesterday. Uh, if that's not the market bottom, what is? Okay, so I certainly am calling for a potential low now. Uh, certainly not expecting that 11800 to get tagged. Uh, certainly that was... Uh, come, a lot of the sellers are shaken out there. Buyers certainly took, took control. Okay, so it was more of a long squeeze from my perspective as opposed to a short squeeze. Uh, oh, sorry, short squeeze as opposed to a long squeeze. Okay, so... Uh, again, certainly looking for the markets to bottom. It was exactly the same point we we sort of hit our bottoming till around 11,800, 11, So, and obviously this key diagonal trend line certainly has been tagged as well. So, from my perspective, certainly looking for a long bias. Uh, I certainly won't be buying European equities as of yet. I'll be happy to buy US and uh, the FTSE 100 as well. Certainly not exposed to the Italian concerns. Okay, so daily chart certainly putting in a bottoming till. That certainly means positive for the rest of Europe. So watch out there. In terms of the 60 minute chart, okay, so let's have a look here. You've got an unfilled gap that needs to be targeted. So, so you're looking for a higher low. That's basically what I'll be focusing on in terms of the German DAX. If I was trading the German DAX, that is okay. So looking for a higher low. Uh, one could argue potential inverted head and shoulders formation certainly uh, being triggered here as well. So watch out. That's your pivot low. Uh, and certainly look using my Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, so anything around the 50, 60, 70, 75%. Certainly is a buying opportunity for me. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's give you an insight there again. Bottoming tail, I did explain yesterday. Once we tag that gap fill, market certainly looking to potentially a short squeeze higher, and that's exactly what happened. We've ho we certainly haven't held a fib 75%, but certainly uh, looking to potentially put in a pivot low here. 60 minute chart on the French CAC again. Uh, from my perspective, let me just clean this chart for you. A lot of mess here. Okay, so uh, horizontal support is seen here. And here, which wasn't tagged yesterday before we had the reversal, but either way, certainly bullish from my perspective. And again, looking to obviously looking to close that gap above. 10 minute chart as well, looking for a higher low. Uh, again, uh, watch out. Let's just clean this chart up for you as well. You've got a gap fill up here, which is seen around 5360. Now you've got horizontal resistance at 5326. Certainly looking to, I'm very tempted to take a long trade here with a stop loss below that 5260. Very, very tempted. Uh, certainly is a good. Uh, potential trade sell okay uh, so keep an eye on that okay and again unfilled gap above for the French cap in terms of FTSE 100 again let's wait for this data to come out before I take a potential trade move again bottoming tail was registered yesterday so bear that in mind uh, today we have had sterling rise and that certainly is exerting a lot of pressure on uh, on the FTSE due to the fact that there is a potential trade deal that's in the works and may well be completed shortly so Again, uh, I bear that in mind. Now, you've got this bearish channel, bearish 60 minute channel going on for quite a while. We've broken out that channel now, looking for a potential short squeeze. 10 minute chart. Again, we've had that pivot low at 7185, looking to buy the uh, higher low. So, again, we're into that 50% now. Certainly very tempting at this juncture. Okay. That's basically a summation, really, of European indices. Uh, again, US equities certainly 
putting in a bullish pattern. Therefore, one would expect that to follow through into European equities. So bear that in mind. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Take advantage of the bonus as well, CFDs.com. Don't forget to do that. Okay, uh, on that note, please be sure to uh, visit Trade Signal. Goodbye now.